Hi everybody, uh, this is William from the Tut Kid channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a particle illusion tutorial. I haven't done that in a while. So, um, we're going to open up particle illusion. Um, this is a blocker tutorial. Um, blockers help make the effect a little more realistic. Alright, so you're going to open up your um, your file, your little thingamajig, your video. Sorry, I am just tired. Um, anyways, uh, so I'm just going to do this. It really doesn't have any significance to anything. Um, no. Okay. So you're going to see this. If you want, you can do zoom to fit to show the entire thing. You don't have to. Alright, so, um, now you're going to add in a new meter. I'm just going to pick one at random. Uh, that's, that's good. Alright, so, I'm going to put that in. So, if you watch it, um, it's just an explosion. So, um, now, a blocker is something that so you can't see um so you can't the particle won't go above this so let's say you wanted this spaced out um then you just make the block around it and see how it's going to cover it up and uh, it's going to do that and you just have to right click to get off now the um problem with blockers is um normally they don't have this, so you have to double click on it and click use layers below for background image. So now if you play that back, your um, picture doesn't show. And it's at the point where it was active. So um, if it, you didn't put it in the right spot, just go into your active on your blocker here. Just go into your active on your blocker. So you see blocker zero, go to active, and say it was right here. You just move it back all the way, and it'll start at the very beginning. See? Uh, it's pretty nifty for, um, it makes, it really does make the effects more 3D-ish. So let's say you have um, a car in the way of your explosion. Uh, you can lock out the car so the explosion doesn't blow up both, the, both cars. Um... It, it really is very nifty to use. It's one of Particle Illusion's better things in the program. I'm not going to really go into that. It's just slow. So, um, just use this to your advantage. Um, you do have to, if it's shaky or something, you do have to move the points every single frame like you do with any emitter. Which gets very tedious if you're working on a hundred frames or more. Um, trust me, from experience, it's not fun at all. So, um, this is William Archer signing off. Bye.